Okay, this is how you draw a sphere. Uh, now I use uh, wrist motion to get a nice round shape, and you know we have a, uh, a shadow coming off about like that, and you see it's going to be more of an ellipse type shape. Uh, now if we have light coming from this direction like that, it's going to create a highlight about right in there, and then we'll get this area will be in shadow. And so let's go ahead and, and uh, you know, put that in here right now. So if this is in shadow and then we've got cast shadow here, we just we start the, the sphere by you know knowing that you know light side, shadow side, cast shadow. Okay? Now what we want to do is kind of distinguish um, the various tones that are in uh, the shadow side. So what's going to happen is there's going to be kind of a, a core shadow, and this is where not a lot of light is um, hitting uh, the ball, so it goes, it goes quite dark. And that's kind of a rim that's right next to where, you know, the, the area where the transition where it goes from light into shadow. Okay, and that transition is going to be very soft. All right. Now the reason why down here it's going to be a little bit lighter then right here is because you're going to get reflected light. Now after you have reflected light you're going to have another nice deep dark area and that's the occlusion shadow there. So it's a part of the shadow that doesn't get any light and then as it pulls away from the object it goes from really dark down here to slightly lighter as it comes out here because um, the sky or ambient light can influence that area. Now this gets lighter here because of the reflected light bouncing off of here up into there. Now you're going to get more bouncing here, an area that's closer to the ground, than right in here. You're going to get le less reflected light, so it's not going to be as light as it is down there. Okay, so I'm keeping all of that in mind as I continue to develop uh, the ball shape, uh, the form. Okay, I'm just going to get another pencil. I, I have a lot of sharpened pencils so that I can really um, you know, do this quickly and, and this is what I like to do when I'm doing a more involved drawing is have a lot of uh, sharpened pencils. Okay, so now here uh, in the light side it's not white until you get to the, you know, the, the highlight is, you know, where you get kind of absolute white. But here is a half tone. And what I need to make sure is that the half tone doesn't go as uh, dark as the reflected light. Definitely want to make sure the reflected light is a little bit darker in tone. So I'm going to deepen that just a little bit here. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but I'm going to definitely uh, continue to work on these, uh, you know, the transitions. Uh, you know, because, you know, to give get some subtlety and the more, uh, the softer the transition you have from, you know, from the light side into the shadow side and from, from the core shadow into the reflected light, the more believable and the more round it will become. And so, you know, I'm just going to continue to work on that by doing just kind of, you know, a general cross hatching motion. Again, any object that has a roundness to it will have this kind of thing going on. Okay. Let's soften this a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser, you know, get that kind of erase out where that highlight needs to be. And I'm going to clean up um, some of the edge here where I didn't, it's not quite round. Okay, I'm going to continue to work on it. Now we got to get this where the ball, you know, firmly sits on the ground there. Again, your most reflected lights here. See, I'm all, I'm controlling the strokes by the weight of my uh, charcoal pencil. You know, down. You know, in this area, I'm pushing a little bit harder to get a little bit more 
um, darkness out of the, the pencil and then as I get to some of these other areas I go a little bit lighter. The more times you go over these areas the smoother they'll get. And so that's why you can see I'm kind of going over it uh, multiple times. Okay, another sharp pencil. I definitely like to have a sharp pencil when I'm in the, uh, the half tone here because then the lines are, are cleaner. So I'm going uh, back and forth a little bit, changing the angle. This is not all the same angle. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit more here. Then I'll show you, I'm gonna do you know, one other thing. Okay, get another sharp pencil. Okay, I want to make sure that this, the cast shadow has got a very crisp edge. So I'm going to race out to get a sharper, sharper edge. This is important to distinguish between you know, the cast shadow edge and this form shadow edge here. See, that's going to be really soft. So I'm just going to take my finger and just soften it just a little bit. Okay. Let's move this out just a bit here. Go ahead and kind of go back up and just clean and, and sharpen it again. All right, so that's a quick way to um, create a sphere shape to get it feeling nice and round. We got highlight, half tone, core shadow. This is a soft transition between half tone and core shadow, reflected light, occlusion shadow here, and then general cast shadow. Okay, in this painting you can see uh, I've used the, the principle of, of shading the ball uh, in, in this piece in order to create depth. So, um, you know, we've got the cast shadows here, we've got reflected light, and then we have the core shadow, then we have the half tone and the highlight. Uh, and that's present throughout the, in, the entire piece in order to, you know, get these forms to round and to, um, you know, create that sense of light. So that, you know, that skill, uh, it was critical for me to establish these kind of shapes and this kind of form. Yeah.